Okay guys, this is Coach Bill with uh, Fat Loss Made Easy Solution. Hope you all are having a great day so far. I'm drinking my coffee for the, for the, the day. My afternoon coffee. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. Guys, uh, this video is, for, is an introduction video. It's uh, for those of you that have either purchased my online personal coaching or have purchased the 45 day quick start. Um, as you know, the program that we offer has uh, been around for over 2,000 years. It's what our ancient uh, founders of medicine used back then to reverse many disease models and obviously it helps with uh, weight loss. So, um, this is step one. This is the beginner plan when you first get started. Now, uh, we have to. Un you need to understand that your first 30 to 45 days is very, very crucial. And so, there's certain steps you guys are going to need to follow. So, you need to really uh, review the uh, step one beginner's primal meal or keto meals over and over again. Now you'll be getting uh, this uh, meal plan in your email box once you have purchased either the online personal coaching program or the 45 day quick start. So <clears throat> let's get started here. As you know um, you're going to be starting uh, something like I said it's been around for 2,000 years. It's primal eating or a ketogenic diet which you, most of you may know it as. Uh, what we're looking at is that we're looking at a higher good dietary uh, fats, proteins, and very low carbs. All your carbs are going to be coming from uh, organic veggies. So, uh, but we're not starting off with a super high fat meal. So we, that's where we got to be, be careful. So uh, you'll see a link in, in here that will explain uh, it'll be titled um, Avoid These Weight Loss Mistakes. And this video, which is a training module, that link will explain why we need to start off at a uh, moderate amount of dietary fat. Most of your fat will most likely come from protein. So the meal plan is going to be set up to where around 50% uh, of your uh, meal is protein. 40 to 45% will be good dietary fat and 5 to 10% will be veggie pro, or, uh, organic veggies. Also, you have, you're going to have to stop all starchy carbs completely. None. That means rice, that means breads, that means pasta, that means quinoa. Uh, no starchy carbs, even the low glycemic ones. No starchy carbs at all. During the first uh, couple of weeks or few weeks, no fruit. You will have a link there that will explain why I have to, I have to take you off of fruit. Okay, because like I said, the first... Uh, the first few weeks are very, very important. So in the um, program here, it'll actually say, stop eating starchy carbs, stop eating all fruits. Also, you're going to have uh, two types of uh, cookbooks that you may want to purchase just to mix up your meal plan. One is a vegetarian cookbook, and the other one is just a uh, regular cookbook that has some pretty good... Um, uh, menus in it to mix it up. I don't want you guys doing the same thing over and over again every single night. But you, if you've purchased either one of my programs, you're going to get a bonus, which is uh, my own fat burning cookbook. Uh, these are meals that I personally have put together and I've got three couples that I use to uh, try some new recipes on and of course if they give me the okay I add it to my cookbook so you guys 
by buying the purchase or by purchasing one of my programs, you're going to get that bonus in there so that you can go through, view it, pick out the different meals you want to and stuff like, like that. Also in the program, the, the uh, step one, you're going to get Dr. Jason Fung, who is, I think, the founding father of the uh, primal meals and the ketogenic diet. He also uses intermittent prolonged fasting, which you guys will learn later on. But he has reversed many disease models like type 2 diabetes and obesity. And both in the books I have in there, uh, in that step 2 program, has all the science you, you, you want to see. It's got science backed up. And it just explains why this ancient weight loss program works so well. Not only does it work so well because it's ancient and our ancestors use it, but because science is saying it also. Okay? So, now, first thing I want you guys to do, you've got to monitor your progress. So I want you to go down to a drugstore, a local one, and I want you to start off by uh, buying some keto sticks, or ketone st or, uh, strips, I'm sorry, ketone strips. I think they run about 12 bucks a piece. So that's going to be the first thing you do. Then, at the same drugstore, I want you to pick up a glucose meter, the one that we use is called uh, Freestyle Glucose Meter NEO, N-E-O. Now, the reason why I like these, this meter is because the strips, each individual strip is uh, sealed. So it won't, it won't get contaminated or actually get too, too old. The reason why we need, to, we need to monitor your ketones and we need to actually monitor your blood glucose because that's going to tell us that you're eating the right mixture of protein, fats, and carbs to drop your glucose down to a fat burning level. So the goal is during the first few weeks is we want to get you down to around 84 or less consistently as far as your glucose levels. And then we want to get your ketones up to 0.8 or above, 1.0, 1.4, 1.5. That is where we want to be. And now once we get you in that range somewhere consistently, then you're going to move to step two. Okay? So we've got to make sure they're both consistent. Okay? And that's going to give us, that's your readings. That's going to keep you on track. Okay? Um, okay, so, now, this is, as I'm reading this, I, remember I said I want you to go back and review this over and over. It's very important that when you wake up first thing in the morning, now, we recommend that um, you should look into uh, hydrogen-rich water to be your water to hydrate with, to drink with, because it's the healthiest water on, plant, on the planet. Um, in the um, step one here, I have how to uh, investigate it. Uh, why uh, there's a video showing that not all waters are the same. So the first thing I want you guys to to do is I want you to wait when you wake up first thing in the morning. It's very important that you have your first glass of water. It needs to be 10, 12 to 16 ounces of water. I want you to do a quarter teaspoon of uh, Himalayan pink sea salt with that because on this program, replacing your electrolyte, because most of the people out there, the public, have uh, their electrolytes are imbalanced. But I want you to, uh, I want you to do the Himalayan sea salt because that's our natural electrolytes with this with the water, and then I want you to do one tablespoon of organic. Um, apple cider vinegar and the reason for that is is to help uh, start your day off in fat burning okay now some of you may not like the taste of apple cider vinegar you can go ahead and uh, squeeze some fresh lemon in there to kill the taste if you like now this morning water is a must don't you have to be consistent you got to do it every single morning seven days a week, because this is going to start your day off. So you've got to do, you've got to follow the program exactly the way it says, okay? <laughs> now, um, after you have your, your, your water, those of you that are coffee drinkers, or those of you that are tea drinkers, that's great. Um, you can keep doing that. 
Uh, the only thing is that I would like to see you guys, um, you know what, I'm not going to have you do it. So have your coffee, have your tea, and enjoy it as your, uh, if that's what you have first thing in, in the morning, okay? Now, when it comes to exercising, I get a lot of questions about that. Well, should I start exercising? Step one, guys, I'm not really concerned about your exercising because I'm more concerned about changing or switching your body from, from uh, burning carbs as your primary energy to burning the fat you're eating and your own stored body fat. The body doesn't uh, switch like that automatically. That's why you have to start out with this step slowly. Now, like I said, you've got to review that uh, training module in there on why we got to be careful about how much fat you're starting yourself off with, especially when you're brand new. So, review, so you want to view it. I'm not going to get into it. That module is in there. Okay? But it's very important that you um, you drink the water first thing in, in the morning to start to the thermogenic process or the fat burning process. Like I said, you can have coffee. The exercising, uh, if you want, that's fine. If that's something you've been doing for a while, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't want you to just go out of your way right now in step one, uh, make it a big deal because it's not what I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about the exercising to help burn the fat. All I'm worried about now is switching your body over. Body, like I said, the body does not do it automatically. You have to teach it. And that's why we're doing this protocol, okay? And then I put some research in there that you guys can view for yourself. So let me give you uh, an example of the, uh, the times of the meals. Now, uh, this, the first, if you notice it, that the uh, step one plan, it, I've got you eating three meals a day. Um, I've had people to get started in these programs say, you know, I, I'm not used to eating three meals a day. Well, you need to. I mean, because we need to get started the right way. you got to feed the body. You know, if you don't eat enough calories per day, especially when you're first starting out, your body is going to slow its metabolism down and you're just, you're not going to go anywhere, okay? But the foods, the three meals that we're uh, talking about are a higher fat meals and very low carb meals, okay? So we're getting away from the fruit, which are massive sugar, and we're getting away from starchy carbs, which are mass, massive sugar, and both of those it's easier for the body to actually go after that, uh, that type of food to burn out as its primary energy. Well, now with this program here, we are going to deplete those. So now the body has to go after the fat you're consuming and hopefully uh, go after some of your uh, stored own body fat. That's the objective to it. But we've got to get your fat adapted. Uh, you'll be getting modules explaining what fat adapted means, okay? So, give you an example. You're going to have three meals a day. If you're used to having breakfast at 8 or 9, nine o'clock, continue to have it, but make sure you're having the right type, okay? If you're used to having uh, um, lunch at 12 or 1 or 2, continue having that, but make sure it follows the pro step one pro program here. But I want you to really try, <clears throat> I want you to really try to um, have your last meal at six. Now, some of you that have different jobs that are at different times, you may have to uh, adjust the program to meet your lifestyle. But if you could actually have your last meal at 6 p.m., that would be great. Then after 6 p.m., the only thing you can have is you can have your coffee. You can put some, you can have, you can put some coconut cream in it for flavor, um, or you can put some coconut oil for flavor. And if you use half and half, you can have a little bit of half and half, or even heavy cream. You can do that also. That's after your 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 meal. Uh, have your if you're taking any kind of supplements or anything, I want you guys to take them around 8 o'clock. Okay, nothing after 8 if possible. All right, so your last meal is going to be at 6. So the next morning, you're going to have your meal whatever time you normally eat, 8, 9, or 10, whatever, you can pick in that range. 
You're going to have your your third me your second meal around 12, 1 or 2, or you're going to have your last meal at uh, 6 p.m. Now, the other thing is that, uh, what about snacking? Well, in the step one here, I've given you some examples of snacks. For example, macadamia nuts, um, pasture or uh, pasture raised grass fed uh, beef sticks or chicken sticks. Uh, you know, or even you can even have a fat coffee. We call it where you've added coconut cream to it, or you've um, uh, added uh, some heavy cream or whatever as a snack. But if you don't have a snack, guys, I'd rather not you do it. If you can go without snacking, that's even better. Okay, that gets us. Uh, that will get us to be able to get in fat fat adaptation much much quicker to move on to step two. That's the object. And you're going to learn about these with some training models that you'll be getting. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Also in step one here, I put some examples of some vegetables that are great to combine with your uh, protein, and that's going to be spinach, broccoli, uh, asparagus. Uh, those of you that are actually um, in a hurry, first thing in the morning. Or even if you want for lunch, uh, if you look at my uh, cookbook, my Fabrity cookbook, I've got an example of um, veggie protein powder. I recommend you guys don't use whey. You'll get a training module on my explanation of that. But I'd rather have you do a good source of veggie protein powder. And then you can actually, now if you're going to do that, if, you, if, you, if you're in a hurry, I want to, uh, if the state, the first step here shows to put a half avocado and blend it in there with your um, veggie protein powder. Now, some of you might be using um, almond milk or nut milk. That's okay. Put your protein powder in there and then put a half avocado and you're going to blend it. And that's going to be your first meal if you like. It could be your second meal if you'd like. Uh, the avocado is going to give you the extra fat that you need along with your protein, okay? Now, one thing I do like you guys to do is mix it up. Don't do the same routine uh, um, every day. Your body will adapt to it, okay? Um, I also put in there, if you're going to add some extra uh, fat in your salads, your, your lunch or your dinner, uh, olive oil is probably the best bet. I put in there, we get ours at the Temecula Olive Oil Com uh, company. There's a picture of it uh, in your step one. MCT oil, organic, is also another oil. Now we mix it up. We'll go back and forth. Uh, but I'd rather do the olive oil, to be honest. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now, and again, uh, hydration plays a huge part with your sea salt. Uh, I would like to see you to drink. Uh, I would really like to see you eventually get to a gallon of water a day. Hopefully you're going to look at the hydrogen rich water as your drinking water. I want you to do the Himalayan pink sea salt at least three times a day. So you can do it first thing in the morning. You can do another one just before you eat your lunch. You can do another one at three o'clock when you're tired. The sea salt, the Himalayan pink sea salt is going to help energize you along with adding more electrolytes. Okay. Now, okay, here we go. This is very important because we gotta, we're going to monitor how the food is reacting to your body. So your um, step one, you're going to have a schedule. Now, for those of you that are on my online personal coaching, I will have you text me your meals and what you've added in it on uh, what days? Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Fridays at certain times you can you know you can go through this and look at that so those are now if I if, if you've purchased a 45 day quick start I would document for the first few weeks uh, your food with a picture of it and then what you added to it so that you can monitor it with your blood glucose and ketones to see what you know you may have, you may be eating a, a, a decently good fat but it might react to your body different than somebody else and make your glucose too too high. So kind of keep track of that because it'll, it'll only take a couple of weeks, guys, for you to uh, catch on on what you can actually eat. It doesn't take, it's not that hard. It's pretty easy, okay? Now, uh, that will be for your meals. Now, for your uh, blood glucose reading, 
you, uh, you want to document this, and those of you, of course, that are doing the online personal coaching, I have you send me uh, a picture of your glucose level. You'll be doing those on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at certain times, uh, certain meals. Uh, review your step one and put them on the calendar so you don't forget. You've got to be consistent with these readings. If you're not, then it's not going to work, okay? Especially the first 30 and four, uh, 45 days. So if the program, if the step one isn't working for you, it's not because it doesn't, it, it's a no-brainer. It's going to work if you follow it step by step. It has to work because you're monitoring your blood and blood tests don't lie, you see? So don't blame it. Don't blame the pro program. Blame yourself and be honest with yourself, okay? Uh, now on your ketone readings, same thing. Document your ketone readings. You're going to be doing those on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at certain times and, or certain meals and at certain times. So put that on your calendar. Uh, Saturday, same thing, okay? Now, one hour, one hour before bedtime, have one tablespoon of organic apple cider vinegar and then a quarter teaspoon of your Himalayan sea salt. Finish your night off with that. Guys, apple cider vinegar, if you look at the science, it's going to show that it acts as a thermogenic. And I actually put it in there. So it acts as a thermogenic. Okay, now also in there, guys, uh, some of you guys may be uh, milk drinkers. Some of you guys may be doing, have been doing whey protein powder for a long time. I've got a training video in there or a module with science to back it up. I want you off the whey protein because it causes inflammation. And I've, the video will explain everything and the science is there. I want you off that. I'm trying to get your body to be less inflammation or acidic so that we can reach your weight loss goals or whatever goals you have much, much faster. Okay, so by following the program, you're going to reach your goals in a really short time. You'll be shocked if you're doing it right. Okay, so that's pretty much about it. Now, what I'd like you guys, I got a link in there. I would like you guys to go to my... Um, Weight Loss Made Easy Solution Facebook group page. Join the group and ask questions. So those of you that are that have purchased the 45-day quick start guide, you can go in that group page and ask questions at any time, and I'll answer them. So if you have a concern or if something doesn't seem right, ask the question. Okay, and most likely I'll have an answer. If I don't have the answer, I will find the answer. But most likely I've been doing this long enough, I've probably pretty much seen almost everything. Okay, so guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you purchasing my online personal coaching or the 45-day um, quick start uh, guide. And I'm looking forward to seeing your result. I would really love to see your before and after pictures and... Uh, what the doctor says if you're being monitored by a doctor. Okay, you guys have a great day. Uh, enjoy the journey. It's flexible. And you're not going to be off fruit forever. You're not going to be off starchy carbs forever. So be looking forward to that when you're able to add it. We'll see you guys on step two of the program. Have a great day. Bye.